It's your boy TBK. I want to show you something. Do you hear that? Isn't it gorgeous? It's Myrna Herzog, and she's playing her 17th century viola da gamba. And now this is what Myrna's viola da gamba looks like today. Here's the story. Myrna was flying from Rio de Janeiro to Tel Aviv, and she gets to the gate agent, and they assure her that she needs to check her instrument. And so she flies from Rio de Janeiro, instrument in the checked space. She gets off the plane, they hand her her viol de gamba, she opens her case, and it's absolutely busted. Now we've all heard this story before. The flight is full, they don't have enough overhead space, you're gonna have to check your instrument, but it's okay, they'll take good care of it, and they'll hand it straight to you as soon as you get off the plane. But here's the deal, they cannot be trusted. This is a video from the San Jose airport. Bruh. So in order to prevent that from being your instrument, here are three ways to keep your instrument safe while you're flying. Tip number one is to make sure that you're familiar with the regulations of the airlines. Now, if it is a US-based airline, it is compelled to comply by FAA regulations. And FAA regulations state that you are allowed to take your instrument on as a personal item, if it is size of a viola or smaller. So make sure you know that, save the document on your phone or have it in your case, because sometimes these new gate agents when they first get on the job, they're not familiar with these rules, they may think that that's not something that you can do, but it is well within your right. I've never had a situation where I've had to break out the rules, but I'm always ready. I I'm ready to yell at people. I don't play, man. That's my instrument, that's my baby. Tip number two, if you have an instrument bigger than a viola, roughly around the size of a cello or a viola da gamba, make sure that you buy an extra plane ticket for it. Think about it, have you ever seen anybody fit a cello in the overhead space? No, because it really won't fit. So consider this, you pay $350 extra for another ticket or you lose a $200,000 instrument. The choice is yours, make the right one. So tip number three, let's say the gate agent is not gonna abide by FAA regulations. Let's say they won't let you buy a seat for your instrument. Here's what you do. You pull what I like to call a Barton Pine and don't get on that plane. You see, this comes from Rachel Barton Pine because when she was refused entry for her 1742 Guarneri violin, she opted with her husband and her four-year-old child to sleep in the airport terminal and wait for a morning flight. You see, it's better to go camping than to check your instrument. Rachel Barton Pine knows what's up. Don't check your instrument. Here's why this is important. In a lot of cases, these instruments, especially from the 17th century, it's not just a random piece of wood. This instrument has created beautiful music for centuries from dozens of legendary people. When you destroy that instrument, you destroy an indispensable part of history. And it's not just the history that's important. You're depriving people of the future. You're destroying the future music that that instrument could produce. So next time you see a musician arguing with a gate agent, be sure to back them up because they're worrying about the future of music. This story was brought to you by WQXR, New York's classical music station. I'm your boy TDK. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to play homie play.